Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, I just wanted to quickly go over this clip that I saw of Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo over at CNN uh, yesterday. Uh, believe it or not, Don Lemon sounds so insane during this segment that even Cuomo is kind of like, dude, you're crazy. I, I don't agree with you. <laughs> and uh, at one point, Lemon even says that we need to blow up the system. Because Democrats aren't getting what they want, that means that the system has to be blown up. So I wanted to just kind of quickly go through this clip. So let's just get it started here. Let me ask do? you something. If the Democrats were in control of the Senate right now and Trump was president and he wanted to nominate a justice, what do you think they'd say? Well, I think they'd do the same thing they did in 2016. They'd, they'd do it. That's, That's what right. they did. That's my point. That's, That's why did. nobody so, cares what the Democrats are saying now. No, 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 no. I think they do exactly what they did in 2016. You can say what you want about Democrats. Democrats usually wet the bed. They're not as strategic you when it comes to politics. You think they give Trump I a justice that, after I, what happened with Merrick Garland? I think if, they, if yes, I think they abide by. Okay, <laughs> real quick. So this is really confusing. It's almost like neither of them understand what the other one's saying. So Don Lemon is trotting out this whining uh, revision of history saying that, oh, back in 2016, the Republicans wronged Barack Obama by blocking his nomination for the Supreme Court uh, to fill the seat that had opened up. The problem is they're trying to act like these are the exact same situations. What happened in 2016? What's going on right now? It's not the case. In 2016, Obama was at the end of his term. He was a lame duck. He was literally like days away from leaving the office. So he had no business filling the Supreme Court seat. It's different now. Trump is still president. He could still possibly win a second term. So he's still carrying out his first term. And part of his first term duties as a president is to fill that Supreme Court seat if it opens up. And that's what he's got to do. It does not make the Republicans hypocritical. Sure, go ahead and call them hypocritical. But if you do, you got to admit that the media and the Democrats are hypocritical too. Let's keep going. I, well, well, it's different because... It's different because Democrats did not make the promise. So you keep comparing things that aren't equal. <laughs> it's different. It's different when we do it. I got to tell you, folks, this is like pathological with the left. They always just convince themselves that even when situations are exactly the same, that it's just somehow it's different when the Democrats do it. Democrats did not make the same promise in 2016. It wasn't a promise. Democrats were on the other side. They said. It wasn't a promise. Okay. It was a BS All right, rationale semantics. to explain what they were doing semantics. to deprive him of power. Sem no, no. It was not a BS. Deprive Obama of power? What is he talking about? Barack Obama had two terms. He was at the end of it. That was it. He was a lame duck. He had no business picking the Supreme Court justice. Not with two new candidates getting ready to run. Getting ready to, the election was about to happen. So uh, it was very similar in that, in that the timing was similar. But the situations were completely different as far as the presidents go. And as far as who was controlling the Senate. The Republicans did in 2016. Democrats didn't do that in 2016. If Democrats actually put the person, wanted the person that was in office now to do it, they would be making the same choice. They would be they would they would be consistent with their principles. <laughs> Did he just say Democrats would be consistent with their principles? Really? Really? Is that why they're taking the exact opposite position now that they took in 2016? Everybody's flipped. Like there's no principles here. I mean, and if you want to say that the, if anybody has even the slightest bit, amount of principles here it's the Republicans. Because, and you want to say they're hypocrites because they're doing the opposite. But again, I just explained it's different situations. And in every other situation, the sitting president names uh, uh, nominates a Supreme Court uh, candidate to fill the seat. Because especially now, because if we have the election and it's got to be decided by the Supreme Court, we want all those seats filled, right? Of course we do. But Democrats want that power for themselves. So when they whine about, oh, taking away Obama's power, please. they These people are just as power hungry as they accuse their opposition of being. I don't know that. Yeah. And I think that most people don't agree with that idea, which is why they don't care about the difference between left and right. See, until you have a group of people that decide to consistently be better than what they reject, you're going to have people in the exact position they are right now, Don, which is no matter what happens, everybody sticks We're going to have team. to blow up. Hey, I, I have to uh, agree with him there. I mean, basically, that, it's basically what's happening. I mean, the Republicans, again, I try to explain it's not the same situation. 
But you could make the argument that Republicans are being hypocritical here. And at least it seems like Cuomo is admitting that Democrats are also being hypocritical, that everybody's just playing for their power. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Listen to what Don Lemon says in response. I'm going to kick it back just a little bit. A group of people that decide to consistently be better than what they reject. You're going to have people in the exact position they are right now, Don, which is no matter what happens, everybody sticks to the We're going to have team. to blow up the entire system. And you know what we're going to have to do? No, I don't know about You know that. what we're going to Yes, yeah. what you have to do? You just what? Democrats aren't getting what they want. Democrats aren't getting the power that they feel that is somehow inherently theirs. So we got to blow it up. We got to blow it all up. I, it's pretty clear to see which camp Don Lemon is in here. He's in the Antifa, uh, anarcho-communist, BLM camp that... Uh, if we don't get what we want, well, we're just going to burn the entire thing down. Forget the fact that's completely insane and that folks like Don Lemon uh, have this very inflated view of their numbers and their ability to to get to burn down the entire system. Please. Uh, a lot of you would have to face down a lot of people in order to accomplish that, Don Lemon. But besides that, I mean, how insane is it that a CNN host is literally calling for essentially domestic terrorism or at least uh outing himself as an existential threat against the current system sure they think the current system's evil that not all of us do i mean the evidence just isn't there that the system's evil and that's not to say the system is perfect it isn't it needs uh fixing all the it can always be improved and we are always improving but burning it down tearing it down uh that's that's crazy and and you'll see even Chris Cuomo <laughs> can't agree with his buddy Don Lemon here. It's got a Honestly, from what your closing argument is, you're going to have to get rid of the Electoral College. Because the people... <laughs> I don't see it. Uh, because the, the minority in this country decides who the judges are and they decide what? who the president the minority? is. minority? Well, you that, need a constitutional amendment to do that. And if Democrats, if Joe Biden wins, Democrats can stack the courts <laughs> and they can do that amendment and they can get it passed. Well. You got that? So vote for Joe Biden so you can blow up the system, stack the courts with left-wingers, and get rid of the Electoral College so that half the country has no say in what goes on in this, what what happens. They, you know, they can cast their vote, but they'll be uh, essentially voiceless at that point. You know, stack on top of that, you know, academia and, and the fact that conservatives and right-leaning people can't even hold events without paying exorbitant amounts of money for security because left-wingers are so violent, or the fact that the media is dominated by this point of view, by the left-wing Democrat point of view, or the fact that the tech giants are dominated by left-wingers who use their power to censor their political opposition. It's looking kind of grim if Joe Biden gets elected for anybody who isn't on board with this insanity, with tearing down the country, blowing it up, as Don Lemon said. So you got it right here. Here's Trump's campaign commercial for 2020. You should definitely do this. Vote for Joe Biden so you can tear down the system, blow it up, get rid of the Electoral College, and stack the courts with left-wingers. That's pretty much it, folks. I just wanted to go over this video real quick because I just found it just so nutty that Don Lemon would just say that he thinks it's completely normal and even Chris Cuomo is kind of like dude you're not gonna be able to do that you're not gonna be able to but it's just you know it's just a sign of the times that this is what we're hearing in the so-called mainstream media in so-called objective true seeking uh news it's just not the case uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And if you want to support this channel, you can find all the options for that in the description and pinned comment. Not, and also, I wanted to quickly mention that tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, we are having a Discord live chat. So show up for that. It should be fun. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.